Welcome to a, another commentary done by D this Infested Cup Season 2. I don't know what the order is, to be honest, so I'm just going to cast the games I got. This is Refrigerator versus Tendur Draco. I'm just going to call him Tandor. Bottom right-hand corner, we have Refrigerator as the pink Protoss. Once again, this is going to be on Inner Coven. Upper right-hand corner, we have uh, Tandor Draco as the yellow Protoss. I do want to give a shout-out to Warm Seat, who is actually 650 Special, who is uh, also an Artosis viewer, I believe. And follower of mine on Twitter. Appreciate you. Let's give you the shout out. The Iaia, which I can in these uh, silly matches. This is the third spawn. Uh, this is, I'm not sure if there were adjustments to Inner Coven here. But Inner Coven, again, the feature of this map where you have these lurker eggs that blockade a bit of this. You can slide them through the mineral field with workers. However, don't care about that on infested maps because you can just, in theory, float your command center to your opponent's base, land it, and if you can sneak that, you can make it make it happen. Probe's actually already moving out for Tandra Draco, but unfortunately moving towards the... It looked like... Oops, let me go ahead and take map vision off. Unfortunately trying to move to the center of the map, which, yeah, is not passable. Like, once, you, once you've cleared that, you can work it, but anyway. Dropping two pylons instead to try to make up timing, I guess. I'm not... I'm curious as far as the logic of that uh, overall. But in the meantime, Refrigerator, being the vet he is, grabbing already two infested command centers out in space. In fact, he might actually get the flat monopoly here. Continuing with that Overlord pathing, let's see if he lifts the, these off and continues uh, to scout. He's gone for maybe that seven assimilator build. <laughs> Once again, he's got a forge warping in, so this could be an interesting play. If he drops a couple cannons, particularly if he can drop them at a distance, and uh, I'm trying to think, infested commands, uh, infested Terrans have what, 90 health, something like that. I'll have to look once they spawn. It's one of those pieces of trivia I should have memorized at this stage. Being a veteran caster of Infested Cup, this prestigious league, I believe ten dollars was on the line once again. And mod ship on Dead Infested's personal Discord, which is great honors. I mean, just huge prestige within the StarCraft community uh, in winning this, by the way. Uh, just in case you guys were worried that this was just for funsies and there wasn't anything on the line of note or worth or uh, to create immense pressure with these guys. Cannon actually warping in in the line. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm not sure I like this just because the splash damage alone could take out. It looks like Refrigerator scooting along that edge. But in the meantime, across that map, all of these infested command centers have been identified and and grabbed. And also, you can see towards the, I believe this is within the interior, once Refrigerator has gas, he can just start pumping the infested Terrans and just wander up to the north. Oh, Overlord spawn with pylons. Forgot that was a change. I should just read the change log in between. Infested Terran gave it to me. So I'll do that next match, if the match doesn't go just way too rapidly. And that way you guys can know the critical changes uh, the balance improves over time. Another Photon Cannon in the gateway, plopping down. First Infested Terran, uh, built. Almost built. And this might be the game winner already. Because right now, Tandor doesn't even have eyes on Refrigerator's base. In fact, Tandor is foolishly trying to open up the middle of the map. While multiple Infested Command Centers are careening towards his base. And multiple infested command... So how many? What hell? So 60? So three cannons. So three cannons might be a sufficient defense. A Dragoon initially, it looks like, trying to assail this command center from this corner. Double gateway opener and a robotics facility. Not sure it's going to matter, though, because here come these two initial command... Wow. And exploding on the line, killing the Dragoon and killing multiple probes. It is now 19 to 12. This isn't an insurmountable loss, but this is looking scary already for Tandor. He's again wandering up, trying to get Dragoon range, again trying to take out this obvious infested command center, but he's kind of ignoring... hasn't really scouted the other infested command centers that are, to be honest, larger threats. Like, this is one that Refrigerator can probably sacrifice. I'm not sure he wants to build this infested Terran on site. So we'll see if that, in fact, gets wiped out. But currently, Refrigerator with better micro... Oh, getting another Infested Terran in the line. Exploding gloriously. I'm not sure he's going to be able to save this command center. 
but currently, definitely with the overall economic lead, Tandor, in his confusion, dropping to 70 APM. Trying to get a robotic support bay up, maybe with a shuttle and a reaver. Might be able to sneak this. Trying to, I think, <laughs> this is kind of getting desperation time. This is the, sh I need to do something maneuver. Trying to open up the middle of the map. Maybe get a shuttle, maybe get a reaver, maybe get something accomplished there. Two more probes go down and an Nexus taking some splash damage in the midst of this. And it is now a continuous flood of infested Terrans from multiple locations, all angles. The probes do not know where they're going to get hit. Tandor even declaring to his opponent that he is so confused. Which is a scary... Yeah, where are they coming from? Does not know. Down to seven probes now. Refrigerator taunting, even letting him know, letting his opponent know where the flood of units are coming from. Taking out two more probes, dropping the count to five. And there's GG for Tandor. A little bit madder there at the end. I got to give it to Refrigerator, letting him know where the infested Terrans were coming from. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll move on to the next match. Thanks for listening.